Good morning. <laughs> I decided I needed the big cup of coffee today. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I used this in a prop yesterday for some patterns, and I'll show you those later. And I thought, oh, I ought to bring that upstairs. It's a, it's, I bought it at, I think, Big Lots or maybe Hobby Lobby or I don't know. I can't remember. But I bought it as a planter, and you can see it doesn't have any holes in it. And a planter has to have holes in it, right? And so I usually use it for a popcorn bowl with company or salad bowl or something fun like that. But I brought it upstairs because I used it as a prop, but I also stepped on it. I don't know if you can see that right there on the edge, right there, and then right here on the side. When I stepped on it, I broke it there and there. And so I used that E6000 magnificent glue, okay? Anyway, I thought it would be hilarious to say, hmm, I need the big cup of coffee today. <laughs> All righty. So realistically, this is the coffee I'm drinking today. <laughs> and it seems so small in comparison to that cup, doesn't it? <laughs> All righty. I see some of you popping in. And just a quick for information. If you're watching this live, you're watching it on Facebook. We post it on our Facebook page, Posh Pooch Designs, every Tuesday, 9.30 a.m. Mountain Time. I will tell you, the last Tuesday of June, uh, uh, my husband and I are going to go down and check on his father. He's 85, I think, or maybe 84, and he lives in a town called Pahrump, which is outside of Las Vegas. And so we're just going to drive down there real quick and check on him and check in on his sister and our niece and family down there just for a couple days and then pop back. So that Tuesday, we will not have a video. Unless I do something ahead of time, I might just surprise you. <laughs> All right, so we got a lot of things to do today, but the first thing I want to say is this. We want to take this maybe 25, 30 minutes, set aside those cares of the world for just a few minutes, and have a little fun with my crochet family because that's what we are, aren't we? Yes, my crochet family. Y'all know I love you, and I can't do this without you. Whether you're on Facebook or YouTube, you're a part of my crochet family. <laughs> All right. Are you excited to see what the giveaway is? It's June. Remember, I told you in June we're going to start our monthly giveaways again. And the way they work is this. The first Tuesday of the month, I will show you what the giveaway is. And I'll usually show it to you the second Tuesday also, just to remind you. Then on the third Tuesday of the month, I'll announce the winner. Well, how do you get involved and be a part, right? All you have to do is comment on this video, either on Facebook or on YouTube, and your name is automatically added in there. And then what I do, or I should say what my husband does, <laughs> is he copies all those names off and puts them in a random generator, and whatever name comes up is the winner. And I'll tell you, and then I'll tell you also how to contact me. All right, so are you ready to see what it is? I know you're excited. Well, since we've been doing a lot of cotton, because, you know, we're into, we're, I don't think we're officially into summer yet. Isn't that like the 21st of June or 24th? I'll have to look it up. I can't remember. But we're getting into the warmer month. I mean, it's actually in the 80s, uh, high 80s here where I'm at, and, and that's really hot for us. Okay, now, are you ready? Bum, bum, bum. No, it should be bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Lots of cotton here. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight balls or skeins of cotton yarn. Here's Lion Brand. I've never known how to say that, so I say Kaboo. We've got a comfy cotton blend. This one is I Love Cotton from Hobby Lobby. You've got peaches and cream, sugar and cream, and this one is a scrubby yarn. And this one up here is a scrubby yarn. This is Mary Maxim. So there's eight different, I think eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different yarns plus, oh, I just dropped them. <laughs> You'll also get this, the Coffee and Crochet with Sarah project bag. All right, so isn't that exciting? I got it. <laughs> So, eight different balls or skeins of yarn, 
and the project bag. It's about $30 worth of yarn, not a lot, but you know, it's a lot of yarn and fun to play with. And I like to do a mixture sometimes because they're donated from different places because I have a friend that works at Michael's. Sometimes she'll donate some. Um, I have a friend that used to work at Tuesday morning. I heard some of the Tuesday morning stores are going to be closing. I hope they don't close ours. Anyway, sometimes she gives me things to donate. And, and Walmart has in the past. And something, it's what you do is you go in and you talk to the manager and you fill out a form and you ask if I can have a donation. And then they give you, and you tell them what it's for. And then sometimes they'll give you a receipt or a certificate. And sometimes they'll give you, you know, you can go pick out a few things. So I kind of, I like to contact some of the different stores in my area, as well as yarn companies in different places for giveaways. And so that's what it's going to be. I'll give you one more good look so you can see it. Even though I spilt it, it's okay. Okay. Eight different types of yarn, all cotton, even the Scrubby's cotton, and the Coffee and Crochet with Sarah Project bag is our giveaway for the month of June. So I'm going to set this down on this side so I don't knock it over again. And what we do when we package that up is after today, I'll pack it up in zip bags. We'll wipe it down with the with the Clorox wipes, or maybe it's, I think mine are Lysol Clorox. But anyway, uh, wipes, and then we'll seal it in the, in the box. It'll be all ready to go. And then the winner will be announced. I have the date on June 16th. That's two weeks from today. And then I'll tell you how to contact me, okay? I'm very excited to get the giveaways going again because I love giveaways. I love to give away yarn, especially yarns you haven't tried before, right? When you get a yarn, maybe a different kind of scrubby or a different kind of cotton, because like the comfy cotton is a blend. And so it's kind of fun. And that kaboo, that little kaboo I showed you, um, those are were started um, the first making the what's called the knitted knockers and then the crochet for women who have gone through um, mastectomies from breast cancer. And I'll tell you, <clears throat> from going through that uh, with my mother, the fake ones that are made from like a gel or whatever, they're heavy and they're hot. And so th that was, that's a really good program uh, because it, it makes you feel comfortable and they're not heavy and hot to, or, you know, to wear. Anywho, on that, <laughs> on that note, <laughs> I didn't get to say hello to all of you, so... Dawn says Croesus. Yes, we are brothers and sisters in crochet. <laughs> we are family, aunts and uncles, uh, moms, dads, grandmas, grandpas. We are all family in the crochet family. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> all righty. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a ladybug. Let me show you. It's just a little ladybug applique. And I like it because it kind of has an arch to it the way that I designed it. Now, the reason we're going to do that, I actually was going to do a little um, uh, bumblebee. And so we're going to do that next week, okay? But we're going to do a ladybug today because I got a question from a, a really nice lady. She said, I love doing the, um, I think it was the scrubby she was doing. And you use French knots for the eyes. It's a little happy one. And you have little French knots for the eyes and then you embroider on a smile. She says, I can do the long stitches and the smile is nice. But every time I try to do a French knot, it slips through the fabric. So I'm going to show you how to make a sweet little ladybug and how to do those French knots, okay? So I'm going to click over to that cam and we're going to do it right now. <laughs> All righty. Now, the red and the black yarns that are this dark sometimes are kind of hard to see. And this is actually a dark purple that I used on the outside. And they're kind of hard to see. So I'm going to use this yellow and lavender. Okay, so grab some of your scraps. It doesn't take much. I'm going to use my big coffee bowl as my yarn bowl today since I put the other one over there. Okay, so you're, we're going to use an H hook, which is a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a needle for those French knots and weaving in the ends. You'll need your scissors, and then you'll need two types of yarn, two colors. You can use a variegated if you want to. I'm going to do the center section of the ladybug in this lavender, and then I'm going to do the outside in yellow and the French knots in yellow as well. All right? So let's do the ladybug real quick. Look at my pattern here. Even though I wrote it, I have to remember what I did. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do <clears throat> is we're going to 
make our slip knot and chain two. One and two. Now we're going to stitch 11 double crochets in the second chain from the hook. So yarn over, go in that second chain and stitch a double crochet. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven double crochets. We're going to join to that first double crochet with a slip stitch. And we're just going to chain one to hold it and I'm going to cut my yarn. Now, you may have a hole in the center and if you prefer to use that uh, magic circle for this, you certainly can. But I figure I'm going to have to weave this in anyway. So we're going to go ahead and thread that needle on that tail of yarn and then we'll just go around those stitches and close up that hole. We don't want the back of our ladybug to have a little hole in the top. Now I think this style of ladybug would be really easy to make a turtle from. I'll have to uh, put that in my thinking cap there and maybe we can come up with a little turtle later. Alright, so I'm, I pulled on that. My hole's closed. Here's my front. So I'm going to go ahead and clip that off. And hey, I don't have to worry about that ever again. <laughs> That's all weaved in. Alright, so I'm going to pull that little chain one out. I put that in there just to hold so I could do the closing of that hole. Alright, so now let me throw my yellow yarn in the jar there, there in the bowl. I'm going to join in my yellow yarn. There we go. And now we're going to stitch those little stitches around. Okay, so in the first double crochet, I'm going to stitch two double or two single crochets. One and two. Then I'm going to stitch one in the next. Then in the next one, I'm going to stitch two single crochets. One, two, and then one in the next. All right. Now I'm going to skip the next double crochet and I'm going to stitch four double crochets in that next stitch. So we're skipping this one and we're going to the next one and we're going to stitch four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. And that makes the little head portion of our ladybug. All right, so we're going to skip the next stitch and we're going to stitch two single crochets, one, two, then we'll stitch one in the next, we'll stitch two single crochets, get in there, I got the end of that kind of tight, there we go, one, and two, and then in that last, we're going to stitch one single crochet, and then we're going to join to that first single crochet. Now we're going to cut our yarn, but we're going to leave ourselves about 18 inches. All right, so I'm going to take my hook to the next stitch. I'm going to pull that loop to the inside or the back of the ladybug and tie that off. All right, so now we have a little ladybug, kind of cute in the purple and yellow. And we're going to take this long tail of yarn that we left and thread it on our needle. All right, so we're back here at the back and what we're going to do is we're going to go up in between those two stitches from row, the row one and row two. Then we're going to go in the center. Then we'll come up here where we stitched those four double crochets and we'll go right in that center. 
And that just gives us our, our dividing line for the back of our ladybug. Now we're going to stitch those French knots and we're going to put three on each side. All right, so when you're stitching a French knot on something that's crochet, it's really important that you come up in a stitch, not in the hole in between. If you go in between, you're going to lose that French knot. So we're going to come up in the center of that stitch somewhere. And I like to kind of go through fibers and not just the stitch itself, like go right through it. All right, now we're going to set it down. We're going to take our yarn and we're going to wrap it three times. One, two, and three. And when we go back in, a lot of times when you're doing embroidery, you go back in that same hole. But when you're doing crochet, you want to go close, but you want to kind of go a little over so that you're going down a different portion of the stitch and the fibers of the yarn. And I'll hold it with my thumb there and gently pull it through. And that's going to keep that French knot on top instead of going through. I'm going to go through the fibers of the yarn of the stitch there. We're going to wrap three times. One, two, and three. Hold it with my thumb. I'm going to go down next to it in the same stitch but going through fibers and gently pull that through. Another thing to remember is when you're wrapping around your needle not to pull too tightly or it'll be uh, too snug to get it through. All right, one, two, three. Push it down so it's next there to the fabric of the crochet. We're going to go back in next to where we came up and go through. And that's how you get your French knots not to go through onto your um, of your fabric of your crochet. All right, and then you have a little ladybug. I like this because it kind of pooches up. And I'll come back and do those other three later. But I wanted to answer that question. And it can be a little bit tricky um, because if you're doing it on like a flat where you've got a whole bunch of stitches, single crochet is easy because you can go up like right in the single crochet and then go right down next to it. When you have double crochets, it's really important, or any stitches that are bigger and you're making French knots, it's real important to go through the stitch, through the fibers of the stitch. And sometimes I might make an extra little loop if they're bigger stitches before I make the French knot. Like I'll come up, I'll come back down, and then go back up and then do the French knot. And that will help it hold also. <coughs> I got dry throat again today, I guess. But anyway, probably because I like to talk too much. <laughs> But anyway, that's the way to put French knots onto items. And they're great for when you have little appliques for making little eyes. And just like with those ladybugs. And another thing to remember, when I do a demonstration on that's a pattern like this on our live videos, some of those, probably most of those, don't go out there. And so if you want it, you have to get it off the blog if you want the written pattern. It's on the blog, and uh, and of course it's all will always be on the video. And of course, once we done we're done with this video, I always put it on YouTube as well. Okay, so I hope that answered the question about how do I do a French knot. Another thing about French knots is determining how many wraps that you want to do. I, a lot of times they'll say just do two wraps, and for crochet, I always do three because I think it makes a better looking little eyeball or a little whatever I'm doing. <clears throat> on that item. It's just, you know, it's a preference. <laughs> and remember what I always say, you do you. You do what works best for you. And I always use the example of the magic circle. I don't really care for them, but a lot of people love them. So you do what works best for you. And that's the thing about crochet. It's an art and you have to do what works best. <laughs> Alrighty, so we talked about the giveaway, and I'll, I'll talk about it again at the end. Um, we talked about French knots and ladybugs. Go make yourself a bunch of ladybugs. I think next week I'm going to do the bumblebee I was going to do this week. And if I, I can figure it out, we might just do the turtle also. 
I love making little appliques. They're just great to add to everything, you know. And and um, if you make if you make those flags, as I have one that I hang out that has like a little garden flag on it. Um, I like to add these to it because it gives it a little bit of weight. I just take the regular one and then try to duplicate a couple of the flowers or, you know, a bee or whatever and add it on there. And it just gives it a little bit of weight. And it's just so pretty. So, so pretty. And when they move in the wind, it keeps the deer away from my flowers. Okay. Are you ready to talk about a brand new yarn? Well, I just got this one in. This is another one from Premier. It's called... Sweet Frost, I'm sorry, Sweet Roll Frosty, and this one is called Lemonade. Isn't that pretty? I just love it. Let me show it to you down here so you can see it up close. <laughs> I've got stuff everywhere. <laughs> All right, so here it is. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I cannot wait to make something with that. And I got two of these in. It is a medium four weight yarn. So there's lots we can do with that. Look at the, how that, it's it's like, um, it's like someone put frosting on it. <laughs> like Elsa from Frozen just went and put some frost on it. It's just so pretty. I just love it. But it is, it's Sweet Rolls Frosty. Oh, it has, let's see. I, I'll hang on two seconds. I'll tell you the weight. There it is. It has 245 yards and five ounces. So that's a nice size cake. Some of the other ones I got the other day only had three ounces on them. So you have to get three where if you're making a good size project, you can do this with four. Ooh, wouldn't this make a nice summer baby blanket? And it wouldn't matter for boy or girl because look at those beautiful colors. <laughs> I can't help but I have to keep showing it to you. All righty. So that's the yarn that I wanted to show you this week. And then, um, also, remember, we finished up our crochet along. And let me hit that roaming camera. We finished up our crochet along. And I wanted you to see how it looked as a shoulder bag and as our uh, fanny pack. The green and orange one is the original one that I did. And then I did the teal ombre one this week for the uh, crochet along. But don't panic if you miss the crochet along. The uh, pattern will always be out there. It's on Ravelry, it's on my blog, and it's also on YouTube, all the videos. All you have to do if you go to the Ravelry is click the link for the blog and it has all the patterns with lots and lots of pictures. I added a ton more pictures and the links for the videos. If you go to YouTube, go to the playlist, look for Fanny Packs Are Back. I might have called it Fanny Packs and Shoulder Bag. Anyway, fanny packs are back is what we called it because I love fanny packs still. And anywho, um, all the videos are there. And if you want the written pattern, under the video is the link for the written pattern. And so I tried to get it all linked to each other. And so you should be able to find it without any problem. Another place you can look for any of my patterns is when you're on the Posh Pooch Designs page, if you go to the photos. And what I do in the photos is I have an album for all the new patterns and videos that I've done. And then there's also a photo album for uh, when I do like a crochet along like that, uh, fanny packs are back, I have a photo album with those in there. So you'll be able to find all of that that way. So you can go to the photos, really easy to find. So yeah. <laughs> okay, let me grab a quick, <gasps> we forgot to clink in. How could I do that? Oh my goodness, okay. We have to have a big old clink in. So, are you ready? <laughs> clink in with the big cup. <laughs> Wouldn't this be fun to put like a big pot of chili in? <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help, but I love this big old cup. <laughs> All right, clink in. Clink. <laughs> this would be more like clink. <laughs> All righty, I'll drink from my real mug. <laughs> All righty. It's okay if you're clinking in late, because I certainly did too. <laughs> now, if you're just popping in, at the beginning of the video, we showed the giveaway, and I'm going to show it again we're done. And then we did a ladybug to show how to do French knots on crochet. And they're very useful. All right, now, yesterday, we did the cotton table runner and this is one i did th not this one but this pattern i think I, 
2013, 2014, something like that. And I did it in red, white, and blue, and then I used white and I think red. And it was really, really pretty. And But I've washed it quite a bit because I really like it. And it's, st it's still holding up really well because I use it a lot. But I got brand new chairs for my uh, uh, table and chairs on my deck. I got brand new cushions, not chairs. And, it, and I found this yarn. This is, um, let me show you. Comfy Cotton, and I believe this is called Spring Spring Meadow. I keep saying Spring Green. And this is what I used to make the table runner. And then I used just regular uh, peaches and cream white and this like a spring green color for the trim, if you're wanting to know. Of course, I put those on the blog as well uh, in the video. But I made the table runner. And then you can also make placemats that match. And I've only got one and a half made. I have to make enough for four. And I, I just think they're just gorgeous. They're this open, sort of looks like a butterfly stitch. Some people call it butterfly stitch. Some people call it uh, bow tie stitch. I don't care what you call it. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> and so that was what we did yesterday. I put the video, I wrote the pattern a few years ago. I updated the pattern with new pictures and sort of a little bit better language. Sometimes, <clears throat> I should say better grammar. <laughs> Sometimes uh, some of my video or my patterns are written a certain way and then I go back and look at it and go, hmm, I could have done that better. You know, I could have worded it better or whatever. And so I'll redo that. And so what I did with this one is I just made a brand new blog with brand new pictures. And so that's another thing I wanted to tell you about is when I do a brand new pattern, I always put it on the blog and that's when I tell you if you go over to the blog there's a little box that says follow with your email you can put your email in there I don't get your email it goes to the Google list and then when I write a new blog Google sends it out so and I can't put you in I can't take you out that's all up to you and but if you never want to miss a brand new video or a brand new um, pattern if you put your email in there it'll go right to your email all right so anyway I love these. I think they turned out really super great. And I'm real excited to get the rest of them done because my daughter and her husband and the two grandkids are going to come up for a week this summer, probably end of July, if we can get everything worked out. And um, then we can sit at that table and use these. I guess I'm going to have to make six. <sighs> I have more work to do. Good thing I have a couple more of those cakes, huh? I got more work to do. I'm going to need six place mats, not four. <laughs> Although the kids don't really have to have them. Yeah, yeah, they do. They'll be upset. <laughs> Love those grandkids, and I want them to have everything they want. <laughs> All righty. Well, that was a lot of stuff and a lot of information. And like I said, my goal here for today, because I was really iffy if I was going to do a live video today, and I decided to go for it because it's nice, you know, for just about 25 30 minutes to kind of get away from the cares of the world you know and just talk about crochet and yarn something that every single person in the whole wide world can enjoy <laughs> and if you aren't you should be because <laughs> i'm telling you yarn is amazing stuff it's string that's soft and you grab a crochet hook and we work magic <laughs> I love it. I love yarn. I love crochet. And you know me, I think everybody should too. So anyway, oh, how does this yarn feel? It is super duper soft. Oh my word. It is, it's soft like, um, it reminds me kind of of Red Heart Soft. If you've ever, that's a little even softer than that. <clears throat> And it's a true four. You know, sometimes you get yarns that are not a true four, you know, medium weight. But this really, really is. I think my focus went out there for a second. <laughs> well, that would be weird. <laughs> no, not for me, it wouldn't. <laughs> Things are always happening to me. <laughs> I should have told you about my other morning. I, <clears throat> I convinced my husband that I needed four hydrangea bushes because I love them. And so we went and got four of them. We dug out the flower bed. I have this long flower bed at the front of our house. We dug it out. We planted them. And um, he put me a water dripping system in. And then we filled it up with, with um, um, wood chips. 
And I go out the next morning and the top of one of the bushes is eaten off. And I have this spray. It's called um, rabbit and deer spray. I sprayed on all my stuff. And the, the deer ate my roses before I sprayed them. I'm like, why did you do that? You know, because it rained and I was going out to spray. Anywho, long story short, um, I got online and I started investigating how to keep deer out of my flowers. And bunnies too, because my bunnies, I think they just must be starving. And we have thousands of them who live here. And so they were in there eating and stuff. And so I looked it up and it said coffee grounds. And I was like, that I can do because I make a fresh pot of coffee almost every morning. And I, at least by noon. <laughs> And so every day I've been dumping my coffee grounds in an old bowl and then I go out and spread them around and they've been leaving them alone. So anyway, <clears throat> that's my story. <laughs> I love hydrangeas and, and, um, and we had put some other flowers and nothing will grow there. And so we just had to dig it out and, and redo it. It's in a lot of shade. So anyway, that's my silly story. Last thing I want to say to you today is remember to be kind, thoughtful, and loving to other people because we're all made in the image of God and God is no respecter of persons. Thank you all for being a part of Posh Pooch Designs, for being a part of my videos. And remember, I love to see the things that you make, so post them to the group, PPD Puppy Love Crochet. We'll see you next, spe next speak. <laughs> I will see you next week. And don't forget to enter the giveaway. Oh, before I go, those of you who popped in late, just real quick, eight skeins or balls of cotton style yarns. They're all cotton or cotton blends. And the coffee on crochet with Sarah project bag. Comment on this video on Facebook or on YouTube and you're entered. And I'll, re and I'll say the, the name of the winner on June 16th. That's two weeks. All right. Now have a great week. Bye-bye. <laughs>